Hey guys, I am in the final 24 hour countdown until holiday and I feel like I'm a little bit too hyper today. I've also had a lot of caffeine trying to get everything done that I need to do. Um, I've done a couple of haul videos the past month on my channel talking about the fact that I had a really exciting trip coming up and it's tomorrow. Dave and I are going to Rhodes in Greece and we're going for 10 days. It's just such a relaxing holiday. We're not really gonna do much, just be together. And I'm so excited because it's actually the hotel that we went to when we were first dating our first ever holiday together. So we're going back to the same place, which is a little bit cheesy. Um, and I've done a massive drugstore haul because part of the excitement for me of going on holiday is buying all the little fun like holiday minis and bits of makeup and hair stuff that I just love using on holiday. And I also got sent a couple of bits um, from Superdrug, which I really wanted to put in a video because I think you guys will like them. Um, but I didn't have a video to put them in. So I thought we'll just do a big drugstore haul and show you guys kind of what's new and what I'm gonna be taking with me. So first of all, for sun protection, I got the Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration Continuous Spray Airsoft SPF 30, that's such a mouthful. A couple of years ago, I really got into the original ones of these. I don't know what the name of them is, but they're the brown ones in the bottle because I hate sun lotion. I hate the sticky feel. I hate when sand gets stuck on you. It's so gross and yucky and I hate it. And I found these and they are just amazing. You just spray them on, it's so easy to do and they just feel so nice, like non-greasy, non-sun lotion-y. They're just amazing and they smell so nice as well. And then um, I bought two face sprays. Again, I absolutely hate sun cream on my face and I break out in spots. So um, I've been reading a lot about SPF 50 but sprays which I'm so glad we can finally get a lot of these because I don't think that a lot of people like using like really heavy um, face creams so I got two and I got the Garnier Sensitive Advanced SPF 50 so this one says it's hypoallergenic I don't have really sensitive skin but I do tend to a little bit more in the sun so I think that's going to be really nice and I love Garnier skincare so I know that's probably going to smell lovely and then I got this one as well the La Roche Posay again SPF 50 and this one is anti-shine so I get very shiny on the beach <laughs> and I'm hoping that this kind of deals with that situation but still gives me a really high coverage. Again, I've really liked La Roche-Posay um, skincare. I'm wearing their moisturizer today. So I think I'm gonna love that as well. And then on to hair, I stocked up on, this is so random in terms of, I don't use a lot of their products. This is the Tresemme Make Waves hairspray and it has been my favorite hairspray probably for the past six months. This says new and I don't know how new it is because I've been using this for quite a while. Maybe it's a new formula or a new bottle, but it is one of the best hairsprays I have. It smells very nice. It just gives you like an, a lift. Like when I spray this into my hair, it's really like, what's the word, voluminous, but it doesn't get that really like crunchy hold and I just am really picky with hairsprays and I wear my hair in curls a lot. So um, I get through that really, really quickly. And then, surprise, surprise, dry shampoo. I got a mini Batiste original dry shampoo. I don't know why I don't talk about dry shampoo more because to be honest, I use it every other day because I'm so lazy. And I don't really like dry shampoos that are overly fragrant. So I always go for the original version. And Batiste is just one of the best ones and I love the fact they've got minis because I don't want to take like a whole can away with me on holiday. Onto a little bit of skincare and I got some simple kind skin exfoliating face wipes. My absolute go-to staple on a summer holiday is face wipes on the beach because again as I said I tend to sweat a lot and I get a really shiny face so I just love instead of just adding more um, sunscreen to my face I take it off at least once a day like probably at lunchtime with a face wipe refresh my skin and then put it back on again and I love simple but I really like these ones because they've got little like nodules in them and they're really hard to find um, in face wipes so it just gets rid of any like dead skin and they're so satisfying using them because often I don't like using face wipes so I don't think they're doing much to like get stuff off whereas the exfoliating ones are really really nice and then I got some more of this Garnier Skin Active Cleansing Milk with Aloe Extract this is from Garnier's new range that a lot of you guys might have seen it's basically they've just stripped everything out and they're trying to go very 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 natural so there are no parabens no silicone 
tokens, no artificial colorants, and pretty transparent of them, and I really like the way that Garnier are going. They've listed everything on the back and kind of what it is. So all the jargon that just doesn't make sense to anyone, um, they've just said, what it is and being really honest about what is in their product which I know a lot of you guys ask about more natural products so it's really really good to see um, a L'Oreal company moving that way um, and really going more natural. I loved using this, I've gone through most of the first ones so I want to take this on holiday with me. It doesn't overly smell of anything to be honest, it's not necessarily my favourite cleanser in terms of the smell but it's very very gentle, it's very delicate. And then I also got this L'Oreal Hydrogenius Aloe Water, again it's got aloe in which is really good for your skin, the same as the Garnier one, um, and this has got hyaluronic acid in. I really wanted to get this because I saw, um, well I've seen a lot of people talking about it but Nadine Baggett um, the Beauty Know All put it in a skincare dupes and I think it was either for a Clarins or a Clinique um, hyaluronic acid which is so expensive and L'Oreal have put it in this. I really want to start using more hyaluronic acid. I know everybody raves about it and it's so expensive in a lot of skincare products so if that really does work as a dupe then um, I will be buying that from this day onwards. And then a little bit of makeup. To be honest I barely wear anything on holiday apart from BB cream, mascara and a little lip product um, so I stock up with mascaras. I am taking my Ciate Lash Locked Waterproof Mascara with me which is the best waterproof mascara but I wanted two for the evening um, to try out. So the first one I got is the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascara. Anything with the word big in I'm expecting big things. Um, I'm a mascara junkie and I really enjoyed using this one. It is um, a massive brush. I put a couple of coats on to be honest if I had more time I would have liked to have added three because it didn't give me like the instant like a massive effect I did need to leave it and put on a second coat I really liked it it's not as good as like the best um, dramatic mascara that I've got which is quite expensive um, but this is a really good drugstore version so if you like that like big spidery look um, you can have a lot of fun with that and then I got the Max Factor 2000 calorie curl addict which I actually got given by Max Factor and I talked about this in a vlog the other day saying I would try it out for you guys and let you know what I thought because my ultimate favourite in terms of one of my probably top five mascaras ever is the Max Factor False Lash Effect and not much beats that for me. Um, this one has got a massive brush. It's amazing. I think this is the biggest curl brush I have ever used um, and once you get used to using it and sort of curling it, it does leave a really beautiful, natural, like fluttery effect on your eyelashes and does it beat it, the false lash effect? No, because I just love that one so much and I really like the kind of dramatic look of that. But this is really, really, really pretty and um, I would wear this in the daytime. And then last for makeup, I got the Sexy Mother Pucker Matte Lip. This is by Soap and & Glory and I love the nudist version of this. I talk about that all the time. It smells of vanilla, it's amazing. It's like a buildable balm, it's very glossy. And these are the matte lip versions, which I thought this was a really nice summer colour is called firecracker and this is just perfect for me I want like corals when I go on holiday soap and glory just do the best lip products I love them especially if you like nudes and naturals um, so that's probably gonna be my staple favorite and then I stocked up on razors oh my gosh these are amazing if you haven't tried them <laughs> these are by Venus um, but they're the Olay ones and I don't know if you guys have tried them but they've basically got like um, little bits either side of the razor so you don't need a shaving foam it's basically a very good lazy girls guide to shaving I've talked about the um, these ones in a video before and I feel like on summer holiday again I cannot be bothered to take my shaving foam so these are perfect and I'm going to put it on my snap razor which is the mini travel one and then finally a few bits from Superdrug. Cara Delevingne has brought out a new camo range which as in like camouflage so all of the Rimmel products have got camoufla ca camouflage camouflage on them. If you're like me and you love nudes then you're going to love this collection because everything is pretty much nude or camo um, so so this lipstick I've picked out is number 45 and it's just the perfect nude pinky lovely lipstick that I'd wear um, on my holiday. They've got the brow this way which again is another product I like for my eyebrows. It's a really quick easy way to do your eyebrows. They've also put some of the 60 second um, nail polish shines in which 
I'm so glad because these are probably my favourite product that Rimmel do. I'm a little bit scared to wear green but I don't have a green nail polish so I really really want to give it a go and these are just really glossy, they're really buildable. So that is the end of my Mahusa haul. Um, I need to go now and pack my bag. I have my pink inflatable flamingo packed if you guys remember that from my Primark haul. Um, and make sure you're following me on Instagram at Talk Becky Talk because I'm going to be just posting all of my holiday photos over on there. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!